a catcher to say the least. If you go down Rainbow Harbor, you're walking around and you see this vessel. It's a catamaran, but it is very futuristic looking. And you might wonder, what is that and what are they doing? Well, this catamaran is called the Energy Observer. It is on a six-year mission to circumnavigate the globe, but it's spreading a message of energy efficiency. The crew is telling us that this is 100% energy efficient. It, 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 it has zero uh, net carbon released from this boat. Uh, Louis Noel is the general manager of the Energy Observer. This boat came from France. You guys have had quite a journey to Long Beach. Not a bad spot for you to be pulling into. Yeah, we went through, uh, you know, we crossed the Atlantic, we crossed the Panama Canal and we went to the Galapagos Islands because it is a UNESCO uh, um, uh, biodiversity uh, reserve and we went up to here. And then we go to Hawaii, and then we go to um, Tokyo for the Olympics. Well, bonjour and welcome to uh, Long Beach. Show us around here, and what are we looking at? Because you say that this is 100% energy efficient. Yes, it's it's a, a zero emission ship, uh, fully autonomous. We use the solar energy, we use the wind energy, we even use the speed of the boat, so you know the water, and we produce our own hydrogen on board. We electrolyze the seawater to produce hydrogen, so when there is no sun, no wind, we still have power and energy. So the boat is sailing for three years now in, in full autonomy. Um, unbelievable. It's kind of what we're looking at here. All of the, the entire ship just about is clad in what looks like armor, but these are all solar panels. These are the sails that he's talking about that. So as the sails are up, it's also harnessing a lot of energy and then sucking up the water also. And that water turned into hydrogen energy. And California, really important for you to come visit Los Angeles especially. Yeah, especially uh, Los Angeles and especially Long Beach because that's here that the first hydrogen trucks have been you know, designed and built up by uh, uh, Toyota Motor Europe. And, um, you know, th that was the, um, the first time that, um, that somebody used the fuel cell of the cars to, to, to do something else than, uh, than the cars, you know. And, and, and the hope is that more and more people will be adopting this kind of technology. So, uh, yes, the crew, about six people on board uh, this ship, Michaela, they have been uh, on quite a journey left France in 2019 and they've been through this whole pandemic still going around the world uh, and also doing a lot of research too in terms of the oceans as well. If you want to check it out, it's here at Rainbow Harbor okay. until Tuesday of next week. Oh, I want